Okay, uh, today we're going to take a little trip, not far, about an hour, about an hour and a half. We're going to go to Waterbury, Connecticut here. We're hand carrying, I'm going to go this route here. It's going to hand carry a little Zenith portable phonograph. I don't believe it's stereo. It is solid state. So, uh, man, that could lead into some issue with that, but uh, well, the change is worth it nonetheless. Okay, uh, today we're going to take a little trip, not far, about an hour, about an hour and a half. We're going to go to Waterbury, Connecticut here. We're hand carrying, I'm going to go this route here. It's going to hand carry a little Zenith portable phonograph. I don't believe it's stereo. It is solid state. So, uh, man, yeah, that could lead into some issue with that. But uh, well, the change is worth it nonetheless.
old 64 goat. I have the sip of coffee here. Just, just right. One more slurp of coffee. nice we're driving on road actually we're not driving well we tried making a contact and uh, it went to voicemail so can't answer it while we're on the road that that's most likely when they'll call back and I did say I would call at this time so we'll set a destination nearby and try shortly I dialed in uh, is in close proximity to the the caller, the party. He just just called, so I'm gonna pull off this exit here and say it'll shoot up here in a little bit. We'll just find a left or right. We'll just find. Let's go left. We'll find a McDonald's, and there's a McDonald's right there. So that's where we'll camp and meet the party. Now there's a shade spot right here. Looks like a good place to park it. Looks like this guy's coming in here also. Yep. Same here. I'm going in here too. What the hell are you doing? What the fuck is this? What's the matter to the driver? Stay 
say it, man, for truth. Yeah, you got it. Gentleman's upset because I didn't signal to back up to the shade spot. Unbelievable. Well, that's our people greeter. Gee, we had a Red Sox shirt on, and uh, down here they're fans of the New York Yankees, so I'm glad I didn't wear the Red Sox shirt. We ordered an Egg McMuffin here while we wait for our party. And uh, just a sandwich here, if you're keeping track. I don't know what you're paying. It's $3.29 just for the Egg McMuffin. And we have a six and a quarter tax. So it's three fifty, and they round up the tax. So six and a quarter meal tax. I seem to recall, maybe I'm dating myself, but an Egg McMuffin was only used to be about a dollar ninety nine. Well, we have another driver that basically pulled up to the shade spot and wasn't confronted with the raving maniac. I didn't see them signaling to back up either. I do know someone who does have put, uh, let me get some focus here. I do know another driver that uh, puts his four ways on whenever he uh, is backing or doing uh, some parking maneuvering and maybe that's not such a bad idea. But for some reason, I still feel I may have been uh, tormented there for uh, even if I had my flashes on. Well, in any event, here we are in lovely Waterbury came down through Hartford and we may get out of uh, Connecticut and I'm thinking um, I may do a drive up to Vermont and then back down and there's our part and then put it back on I yeah, have no idea I didn't want to mess with it too much but it does seem like hopefully it'll spin because and then, no, yeah it's plastic it's plastic hmm. yeah yeah, not stereo, just just regular one speaker, pretty yep. pretty basic. Got yeah. the 45 adapter, yep. it's nice. Are you a collector? Or? Yeah, I got techno junk, yeah. Yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> the clasp is missing, but it's not broken. Someone nope. made made men's yeah. for it there. That's fine. And uh, you probably lift the lever here to close it, yeah. right? Yeah, lift both. Yeah. Okay. That's a solid state Zenith portable record player. Do you have a, do you have a, a lot? I have a few. I have a few. <laughs> I'm, I'm familiar like, yeah, with got, it. Got a lot. <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice looking unit, and it's. Uh, I didn't know it was plastic, so that's 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 nice. Is that All right, bad? we'll wrap it up. <laughs> Sorry. We'll put the shoes on it. <laughs> well, that was a nice gentleman, and there we have it, all safe and sound in the back. Okay, I'm a little nervous about heading back towards Hartford, but what we want to do is uh, somehow get over here to 91, continue on north. Where the map ends, and then we'll go over page 104, which will show Vermont, and uh, there's some things I need to pick up there. So we'll continue on, get some focus here for you. We will go back momentarily and just pass through up 91, and we're only going to Brattleboro. That'll be the southernmost tip of, uh, of Vermont. So, judging by that traffic backup we saw, we're on, uh, we happened to be on Route 10 over here. So, let me, let me see, I just had, yeah, we're on Route 10, which is this red line right here. So, we'll, we're going to skirt Hartford on Route 10 and some way here, maybe take this and cross over to 91. So, we'll go up 10 a little bit and we'll cross over one of these. Keep, I think we can keep going 10 the whole way if we wanted to, but we're gonna, we're gonna go up 10 a little bit and then maybe over to catch that 91. We know sooner on this Route 10 we've literally hit every stoplight. See if we can make better time here. You guessed it, another stoplight. And yet, not uh, 30 seconds later, another stoplight. I'm gonna give this a little more time, but uh, I'm about to give up on this. I really don't know what's worse, being stuck in 
interstate traffic or stoplights every few hundred yards. This is way too much retail for me. We're going to have to stop and check our coordinates. And get off of this secondary road. Baloney. Well, in case you're following along at home, this road is just way too built up. We've got to get off this. We need gas and we need a quart of oil.